how do you control your gaze in a hyper-sexualized society? We live in a culture of voyeurism, where we're taught to look at anything and everything and everyone, from TV, movies, uh, to reality shows, magazines, we're either looking at people's lives or we're looking at people. And in a society like this, we see the effects, the detrimental effects that have come about because of this culture that we're in where we're conditioned to never control our gaze. For single people, it's, it may start with nudity and things like that in, in movies and TV and all that, but it can very easily end up to a person actually becoming addicted to pornography and we know all the ill effects that that has on a person's life. For someone who is married, there are many detrimental effects of not controlling one's gaze. It can lead to a person being unsatisfied with their spouse. Uh, one of the reasons is that they may begin to compare their spouse to all these people that they're always looking at. A person's spouse will never live up to these images that we see on the internet, uh, on TV, in movies, uh, in magazines, because that's just not reality. And so it can cause a lot of problems in relationships. And so it's about time that we start pushing ourselves to be patient with controlling our gaze and it's not easy look let's be honest it's not easy for a person to control their gaze in society but realize that change never happens overnight we're gonna have to condition ourselves we're gonna have to start working at it and seeking the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and slowly but surely inshallah ta'ala Allah will help us to control and lower our gaze and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best until next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh